That's not war chief for the number, <laughs> but it's okay. It's been 136 Mondays, and it's quite quite a lot of Mondays to remember. Yeah. So looks like we got Orochi Wolf and Fallen coming up. Oh, um, I'm Sedge, and this is Vance. Obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. So well, I mean, we've been here long enough. I hope you guys. I, know I, who I, heard, we are. I heard you change your, t your tag to the Sedge Hawk. Of course. No, that was that was uh. That was thrown on to me by someone. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why is he? Why was he so mad at me? I don't know. <laughs> he, uh, he just like he just like randomly yelled, "Oh, it's the, the Sedge Hog!" And I'm like, <laughs> "Um, okay, weirdo." Hey there, I am. Maybe, maybe it's just a thing old people do. They just yell at people they don't yeah. like. Yeah. Who knows? All right. So <laughs> Orochi will fall, and here we go. <laughs> Game one. And we saw Orochi Wolf actually fight Mage earlier. Uh, yeah, we did. Today, and then he actually did take the set, right? So yes. Against Mage, so. He did, actually. And honestly, Orochi Wolf is probably one of my... Honestly, I like him in Meteor. I do see Orochi Wolf a little bit more. And Meteor being more likely in the land hero area. But I do love seeing both these two Sonic players go into work. And already off the bat, uh, Orochi Wolf doing a pretty good job of just putting in work. But uh, as I say that, Fallen looking to just control Orochi Wolf's landing. Yeah, I mean, he plays this matchup with Phoenix a lot, so like, yeah. he's able to control the disadvantage stage against Sonic very, very well. Just like that, able to catch the ledge trap. And I don't think Orochi Wolf has a jump, so that was potentially the, the spike stop. there from Fallen, but just kind of missing seated there. All right, Orochi Wolf. I like how he's slowly but surely approaching him with Shield, knowing the fact that Fallen is going to throw out those her uh, hitboxes there. But he has to be careful. Approaching with Shield can be quite a scary option because Fallen can just go in for grab and understand the fact that, okay, Orochi Wolf is shielding my jabs or my job opportunities. I'm just going to go ahead and outright grab him because that's what he's been doing. All right, Lumis back online. So that's going to mean that Orochi Wolf has a little bit of a harder time trying to get in right now. Still going in with these spin dashes, but in the close boxing situations after the... Clank looks like Fallen is one step ahead. Okay, so Orochi Wolf. Oh, actually, I thought he was just uh, dashing back and forth. He looks like he caught Fallen off guard and just went in there with a the fair. Looked like that was kind of hard to react to, too, just because of Sonic's like pure speed. Yeah. All right, Orochi at 122. Forced to recover low. I like how Fallen tells the Luma out in that perfect space, too. It also covers the fact that if Orochi Wolf tries to go for spin dash or a homing attack, Fallen could definitely respond with an up smash. Mm -hmm. Alright, Orochi rolled just a little bit too on the gun with the edge guard. I mean, I, re I respect the decision to try and go out there, but uh, Fallen still had his jump, so he was able to get out of there. Just pick the right 50 50. So, yeah, he'll lose his stock there to uh, up air, I believe it was. Alright, there's that spin dash coming in from Orochi. He has a little bit of a lot of homework to do here, but uh, slowly but surely trying to approach. Fallen able to still catch him out of his approaches, too. Yeah, uh, that was a bit of a risky call with the dare. It does auto cancel if you jump spring and then land to the ground, but just because of the fact that Luma was there, it could have just done an immediate response. Fallen didn't they really have to try to get that going. Rochu of going for a lot of those dares too. He has to understand if he's going to be going for those dares, throwing out your cards all the time. Let's Fallen know that you are using this move consistently. So sometimes it's better to just hold on to your dare or hold on to your best options. Yeah. I like boost grab. I, that actually looks interesting. It looks like Orochi Wolf missed the tech, and then the hitbox from Luma actually sprang, sprung Orochi Wolf back up, and he was yeah. able to get the grab out of it. It looked really good. All right, Orochi Wolf, nice lead in with that back air. Paying attention to the following was just going to try to sing Luma into a perfect position there. All right. Yeah, it's really hard for Sonic to really get around the crouching Rosa with Luma, mm -hmm. but uh, I like how Orochi Wolf is getting creative on how he gets back to the stage. Yeah, and there we go. You see the auto cancel after the spring there. So he's able to make it back down, but still, Fallen <laughs> just caught him <laughs> off guard again. Didn't even need to catch the landing. Just caught whatever Orochi Wolf did afterwards. Exactly. All right. Orochi Wolf. There's that uh, sorry, spin dash attack, but not going to find much. I feel that Orochi Wolf has been doing a little bit too much hanging out on the ledge, and that gives Fallen all the stage to play with. This was the, the same story he had with Mage and Symphonia. He needs to start moving into the middle and stay in the middle. To give a character like Rosalina Luma the ledge to play with, she can definitely set up against you. And Fallen always looking to find more setups against, uh, especially a character like Sonic. Yeah. Looks like it's really hard for Orochi Wolf actually to get any kind of aggression going. Yeah, every time he's in a boxing situation, it looks like Fallen is able to stuff him out right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, there's that back air. Pretty powerful, but Orochi Wolf still on a tough spot. Able to come back slowly. Uh, so many Luma back airs. I think that's potentially could be the stock. Again, though, the Magna Hand's coming into play. Yeah. 
Oh, I've got patience for falling, looking to see where Obuchi Wolf was going to be, and he's able to still find him with that up air. Yeah, uh, really smart all around from Fallen there. He got the DI mix up with the down throw because he was catching him DIing in for the forward throw. So then he was able to get a 50 50. He didn't get the air dodge, but still he forced, to go, forced him to go low and then was able to uh, continue on with yeah. the aggression and just seal out the stock again. Fallen doing a really good job. I mean, like you said, he plays against Phoenix, and that knowledge is definitely showing. He definitely covers a lot of Orochio's options. Not only that, especially, with, like you said, with that grab option he had earlier. Looking to just catch Orochio all the time. Yeah. Sorry, I lost my words there for a minute. Yeah, like, it's all right. The screen, like, <laughs> stood still and then, like, moved. I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And 30%. three up airs already. Just put it, tacking on a lot of percent. Fallen's still going with the aggression. Oh, and I like that. The two different neck hitboxes of Nair just being able to send Orochi Wolf back into disadvantage again. Yeah, Nair has quite the interesting arc in terms of a hitbox. It's pretty big. Yeah. It's also really smart from Fallen too, because sometimes like people will try to hit someone as they're going back to the ledge and thinking, okay, I'm gonna get a little bit extra damage before they go back and to say neutral, but then Fallen's thinking, okay, I have this one tool I have that can reset disadvantage and yeah. then be able to stack on even more damage. And as you see already, we got 80% from Fallen, so Fallen just really uh, pushing his advantage to the furthest. All right, a road off now moving in with those up airs, trying to continuously catch Fallen. That was his big opening, but he wasn't able to fully capitalize on it. All right, Orochua very careful. He's in a tough spot, for, uh, especially against Fallen. Forced to recover low, but Orochua was safe because Fallen was still out there. Yeah. Oh, wow. The Luma there actually stopped the spin dash there. It kind of stopped it in his tracks, too. So I think Orochua wasn't really ready for what happened there. Good platform awareness from Orochi Wolf, able to make it back and reverse the situation, able to get his Ord smash in there. All right, recovers low, Fallen able to capitalize off that. He wasn't that safe. Yeah. I respect the attempts from Orochi Wolf to mix up his <laughs> recoveries okay. and not just go to the ledge every time when he goes low, but that time it was just a little bit miscalculated and Fallen was ready for it. Yeah. Had enough time to react to it. Plus the way I saw it, he missed the ledge too, so he just went straight up and just into Fallen's arms. Into Fallen's arms and into uh, Luma's back air. All right, back in the neutral here. Orochi Wolf trying to find the approach option. It is quite the even game right now. Even though Fallen does have one point on the board. Okay, Orochi Wolf still trying to make it in there. I like how he's starting to play with Spin Dash a lot more. That's what he wants to start doing. And with that, he's able to control the uh, middle of stage a little bit more. Yeah. Very smart from Orochi Wolf right there. It looked like he was a little bit scared about uh, how uh, Luma could have potentially retaliated there if he tried to throw out a hitbox and send her into Tumble. But he just waited for it and then caught Fallen on the platform. And it's able to send Luma to tumble. It wasn't able to get too much, but still he's got a lead. Never mind. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> it is all it is all gone, but Orochi Wolf still holding on to that little bit of life. Nine just to get that spring ride and away from Fallen. I need to see him start going. All right, there it is. He's able to find that one opportunity to just go in with spin dash. Yeah. It's just kind of difficult for Sonic to be able to maintain a lead just because Rosa has such great damage output. Yeah. So it's kind of difficult for Sonic to just keep doing what he's doing. I feel that right now, Orochi Wolf is very touch and go, and, and because of that, like, okay, wow, that was very scary. <laughs> <laughs> but because of Orochi Wolf being very touch and go, like, Fallen takes very little percent in huge amount of time, but Fallen does more percent in less time. Yeah, caught the air dodge. Not sure he has a jump at this point, but Fallen doesn't risk going for it. Tries to get the dare uh, sweet spot at the ledge, it looks like. Another right. boost grab. And forward throw. Now Fallen controls with his edge guard opportunity. I like how Roachy Wolf was aware of the platform there. Yeah, he's very smart when it comes to his recoveries, and especially what you have to do when you got a Rosa that's just aching for your uh, almost a two for frame. Your snipe. You can tell Roachy Wolf's looking for it right now, but just gets called out by that empty hop grab. Mm, that's what I've been saying. You know, Roachy has been leading in with a lot of um, shields and Fallen already caught up to that game plan. He knows Orochi Wolf has been tossing out the shields quite a lot. And like I said earlier, Fallen could just walk in any time and get that grab, but he's going to look for that up air and finds it. Yeah. I, not much I could say there. It's, it just looked like he picked the right call. Like, yeah. <laughs> because it, it was just like a, for that last 30 seconds, it looked like it was a big game of Orochi Wolf just like, woo, 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 let me, let me, let me play around this <laughs> ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and then Fallen's just like,